Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. All of you deserve a round of applause because you know it is one of the hardest jobs in the world. So happy Mother's Day to everyone. But today, and guess what we're doing? A Father's Day <laughs> treat holder because Father's Day is coming and I really couldn't wait to share this stinking cute bundle with you. It is so cute. It is in our new catalog. I'm going to show it to you because, well, let me show you the treat boxes first because they're so cute. So um, this is, I did a Texas Rangers hat but look at this hat you do have to use the opposite side of here so the stitching is not on on the um on the right side but it's fine i mean i thought it was wasn't gonna look good but it looks just fine you don't even have to put the emblem i put the emblem on here just to make it a little bit cuter i guess but this is our texas ranger cap because we are from texas so i put happy father's day on the top number one and i wanted to make this box a little bit bigger because it is going to dad and you want to fill it with a good amount and i thought hershey's kisses would be super cute in here and then my husband we are from actually buffalo new york but we've lived in texas longer but we were both born there so look at i made isn't that adorable oh my gosh i can't wait to give this to him because i haven't shown him it yet but he's gonna freak out <laughs> because it's so dang cute he likes stuff like this but anyway and then i did the other side the same way and so this did have a buffalo in there so this is what brought thought of the die one of the dies is a buffalo so that is why i went ahead and made that but i thought it turned out so stinking cute oh my gosh they're both really cute so we are now texas fans but we are also still buffalo bills fans yes we are diehard fans we've been fans for many many years so aren't they cute you can oh my gosh there's so much you can do with these so many teams you can create on your own there's it's just endless what you can do with these and i also did another one so i can put it on a card so I just made up an extra one because I'm going to put it on a card for my husband. <laughs> so anyway, those are what we're doing. But today we are going to switch it up and do different colors, of course. But I wanted to make it a little bit more brighter and cheerful. So I'm, I already cut the two hats out. Let me show you this stamp set. It is on page 47 of the new annual catalog. So the new catalog is live, so you can now order out of this. I don't know if some of you didn't don't know that, but isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh, this catalog is amazing. But look at how cute this is. The first thing I thought of with this hat was for my grandson because he is really into sports. He just is a sport crazy kid <laughs> so it is called the hats off bundle it's on page 47 of the new catalog and oh my goodness you got to get this one y'all it is just so fun but we are going to use the dad this time and i'm going to use this you're the best and i'm going to use the little star on here but you can use any sentiments with this. It's so cool because look at this one. This is just like for someone who loves the outdoors, someone who is adventurous. This one's got a little tiger on it. Just think of what you could do with this. And, and cards as well. There's just so much. And it's so, so adorable. The hat is all stitched, by the way, like I said. So And you can even um, emboss these with like camouflage embossing or some I've, my mind is just reeling with ideas all right so that is the what we're using for this i already cut out two because we have some other cutting to do but see the stitching in this and then what i did i wanted to put a white in the back here like i did on my buffalo bill one so what you do is you are going to use the hat but i only cut out part of the hat because we're only wanting this back part so i just cut out two of those out of the basic white you need some scrap and then for the box part you need a six and a half by six and a half 
piece and I'm using Bermuda Bay. I just thought bright and cheerful, so that's what I'm using for this. I'm also using um, Bermuda Bay ink pad and I may be using the Daffodil Delight. We'll see, because that's what this is. All right, so here is the stamp set and then this is the dies with the hat and then I pulled out two other dies the star and this because this is going to cut out the dad that we're going to stamp and oh my gosh here's the little buffalo but look at it has a fish if your dad's a fisherman it's got a little lightning bolt a little Christmas tree here but oh look at this little hat isn't it adorable oh my goodness this one is so fun now, um, the sentiments I used for the Happy Father's Day, that came from a wish with everything. So this one is still available. It is in our new catalog as well. But I used the Happy and then I used the Fathers and Day and I just put them together for that. But like I said, on this one, I'm going to use just this one bundle, this one stamp set here. On the one for Texas that I did, I used the playful alphabets to get my T and I actually cut out two blue and one of the white so I can layer that in case you are wondering how I did that. So that's what I used is the playful alphabet because you know I love this one. This is also still available in the new catalog. Alright so let's get started with this. So I'm going to show you how I cut this. So I am just cutting it basically across the bottom here on the stitching and then I am going to cut just in front of the other stitching here and all the way up. So that's just going to attach over this area right here. I'm going to do the same with this one because we need one for both sides. And remember one side is going to be the side that doesn't have a lot of doesn't have the stitching going the right way. You can also do it, if you want it to do it that way, you'll have to turn them the opposite way because there was no way I could figure out. So you can put them this way, one on each side. If you don't mind, you know, the sticking out. I liked them both going the same way, but you can do them however you like. All right, so I am going to use some wet glue. I forgot to put my little pin in it. So I'm just going to lay that on top there so it looks like it's got white on the back of it and then I'm going to do this one on this side so your stitching is not going to be going the right way but let's now that I thought about that let's go ahead and do it the other way and you can see what it's going to look like if you turn them the opposite way so let me show you what it looks like and you can decide how you want to do it so we'll do them the same, but we'll just turn them going the opposite way when we put them on the box. All right, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and stamp, and I'm going to use the Bermuda Bay because I want it to coordinate with the box. And I'm going to stamp the dad just like that. And then I am going to use... Well, you know what? I used the piece I was going to use. This was going to be for my sentiment, but that's okay. I can still do the sentiment on this side. So let me turn it around because this is a longer sentiment. And I'm going to go ahead and do your the best. Here, I'm just going to cut this um, by hand. And then we're going to cut out, out of some Daffodil Delight, we are going to cut out, I'm going to probably cut out a couple stars because I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So let's go ahead and grab the cut and emboss. And I could have used my mini for this. By the way, for those of you who don't know, Angela Delosh was the one who won the mini cut and emboss from my giveaway. And she already got it because she emailed me, so... Yay. All right, so we are going to put this on here. Hopefully it is not going to move on me. And we're going to send that through. This sentiment will fit just across the top of that box, I believe. I hope it does, because I haven't used 
used it yet, but I'm going to set that one aside. And then we're going to do another star. I'm debating whether I'm going to stamp some stars or I'm going to use the star that we die cut here. So that's why I'm going to cut two out. All right, so we have those all done. I think that's it because I already did all the other cutting ahead of time. All right, so oh, I forgot to do two. I forgot to do two dads. So I'm gonna do that really quick, and I'll go ahead and do it. I'll stamp it and then run it through off camera. So we need one more for the other side. Totally forgot about the other side. Okay, so there's our other dad. We got that all ready to go. So let's put it on. It has a space here where you can put that. So I'm just going to use my wet glue. Yeah, we're going to put it on here. We'll do the other one the same way. I just thought adding the white would add a little bit of interest. Because I did it on my Buffalo Bill one because they had white on theirs. I looked it up. So I want to put one of the little stars on here, I think. I probably should have done the star in the Bermuda Bay because it kind of gets lost on there. And once again, I'll go ahead and run it through, run them through, and then I will do it off camera. Okay, so I ran through two more. This is what happens when you are going by just doing it as you go because <laughs> I did those other two, but I knew what I had in my head, but I'm gonna use some dimensionals and this is going to be a lot cuter with this Bermuda Bay star on it. So we're going to put that there. And we'll put one on the other one as well. Because Dad is the star, right? All right, so these are all ready to go. So now we just have to put our box together. Okay, so this piece is six and a half by six and a half. Sorry about that, my camera just died right in the middle of this. So I have to finish, I had to readjust it and everything. Okay, this is six and a half. This is for the box by six and a half. We are going to score it at one half, at two, three and a half, and five and then turn it on the other six and a half inch side and do it at one half two four and a half and six that is all your scoring all right so you are going to have a one half inch side here and a wider section going down this is going to be the center of your box so you are going to cut off these four right here. And then these four on this side, we're gonna do the same thing on both sides. You can cut in on this. This flap is going to fold inside your box. And then you're going to cut down each one of these. And I am cutting them um, about in half here. I'm not cutting on the score mark because I want to cut down on the bulk of this. So I'm cutting it about in half. I'm going to do the same on this side. But leave this one because this is going to be your inside flaps. You can cut in on those. And then I'm going to cut in just on the insides of these. It helps me to keep my box square that way. We're going to do the same on this side. Again, cut that in about half. This one as well. And then we'll cut these. These don't have to be perfect because they're going inside. They're going to be your 
glue tabs. All right, so it's going to look like that. Okay, there you go. So we're going to sharpen these score marks and we are going to glue it all together. I like putting inside flaps. If you followed me very long, you know that. I don't have to tell you, but for those who are new, you're going to see me do that a lot. All right, so now we are going to put adhesive on all four of these little flaps, which are our glue flaps. And you can glue them at the same time. Make sure it's lined up really nice and straight. It's important that your box is square or rectangle, whichever it may be. And then these two are going inside. So that's a pretty decent size box. I'll tell you how big it is here in a minute because I wanted to put plenty of candy in here. I thought about making it shorter, but then I thought, shoot, it, you can't fit much in a box that's, you know, really small, a lot smaller, and this one's pretty small, but you can fit quite a few Hershey's Kisses in it. So this is just going to fold inside like that. So the box itself is one and a half by two and a half, and it's one and a half tall. All right, so this is our box that we're going to use for this. So when you're adding the adhesive to glue it on here, you just put it on the bottom part. Don't put it up here because that's going to hang above the box. So I just line it up so that this top part's not showing and that this is on the bottom so it'll stand up. So you can't see the top of the box. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I like the colors. So cheerful. Okay, now normally, like what I've been doing is I've been using this side. But this time I'm going to turn it this way. So can you see that this is going to stick out here and here instead of like on here. These are both going the same way. So that is your choice. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to glue it on this way. I wanted to show you because you have an option. So we are going to do the same on this one. So they can be one on each side, or you can have them both, you know, going the same way. It's just all up to you. So we are going to put the sentiment on. So I am going to cut that. And I'm debating whether or not you have to cut this one very close to your words for it to fit. Because the top will me measures two and a half inches. So you want this just under that so it fits on top here. I think that I am going to just go ahead and I think I'm going to stamp it with the with some of the Daffodil Delight. I don't know. You could put, in fact, I'm going to turn it over and I think I'm going to put the sentiment in the center. And then I'm going to use uh, that to the star around it. Oh, I messed that up. We're going to do this again. I'm having a time. My thing stopped. My, <laughs> my video stopped in the middle of it. I'm just, I had forgot to cut a couple pieces, so I'm just going to do the stars on here. It just goes with the front, so I thought I'd just do that. Again, we're going to cut close to that, and I'm going to tell you when we get done about what size this is. And let me see. You can cut this with your trimmer as well. All right, to fit on there, it's got to be about two it's two and three eighths by one and a quarter. So I'm going to just take some glue and we're going to adhere that to the top. There's so many sentiments you could put on here, but I just wanted to show you something different. 
But like I said, for the other one, I used um, a wish for everything for the sentiment. But there you go. There's the other one. I still think I like using the opposite side, even though they're really cute hats, because it doesn't really make much that much difference. I mean, yeah, you can't see the stitching, but it's it's okay. I mean, it's the back of the box. You don't even have to put anything on the back if you don't want to. So there you go. There's one for Father's Day, another one. Here's my two sports ones. So I thought they turned out so cute. I just love this set. I hope you like it as much as I did. I hope you all again have a blessed Mother's Day. And I will catch you in the next one. Have a great one, everyone. See you later. Bye.